A new buyer's seller's index shows the increase in interest rates is causing the housing market to cool off to levels not seen since before the pandemic. And while the numbers point to the definition of a buyer's market, economists say not exactly. Fox News' Lori Brown live in Richardson with that. Hi, Lori. Hi, Clarice. According to the new market index, in the 100 largest housing markets in the U.S., the number of homes sold in October was half that of last year. And while that would typically paint the picture of a buyer's market, economists say high interest rates are preventing that. It's a little heartbreaking that you, you have a situation where we thought would be out there by now and now we're not. Georgie Babasak, her husband and two kids thought they would be back home in New Zealand in time for Christmas. And they still told us it was a strong market, but um, interest rates right then had gone up. And um, then we sat there with lots and lots of showings, but no offers. Soon after they listed their four bedroom Richardson home, the Fed began raising interest rates, which in turn is pricing some buyers out of the homes they would like. And there were a few where we had a feedback that it was the interest rates were just too high, so they were just not ready to um, take the plunge. A company called Knock, a home loan provider, released a buyer seller index with key housing metrics. It shows the market for sellers has cooled to the slowest point since the pandemic began, but that doesn't make it great for buyers. In a normal market, yeah, probably a lot of times you could safely call that a buyer's market. And it's just right now, um, everything's so unusual. We've never had, you know, you have to go back to the 80s before you start seeing uh, this kind of rapid change in interest rates that kind of mess up a lot of our terms. Adam uh, Perdue is a research economist with Texas Real Estate and Research and Center at Texas A&M. He says conditions don't actually favor buyers or sellers right now. If you manage to refinance, say in 2020, when late rates were at their lowest, and so then right now you're in, uh, the interest that you're paying on your current mortgage is say 2.5 or 2.75. If you were to try to sell your house and you had to buy another house, like say your next door neighbors, it's almost exactly like yours, it's going for the same price because it's the same size in the same neighborhood. Your payment on the new loan at 6.5% or 7% would be almost 50% higher uh, than the payment on the mortgage that you have right now. Purdue says he expects prices to fall, but not much in the Dallas-Fort Worth area over the next year. With the high chance that maybe uh, on a year-over-year -year basis, we might actually end up seeing uh, uh, falls in price, but only, but relatively only minor because, again, Dallas didn't get quite as out of hand as, like, say, Austin did or some of the other cities you might have heard about across the country, and you still have massive economic growth. Uh, employment is growing fast um, in professional and business services. And Hope for sellers like the Babasax. It's been challenging to obviously be in a down market now that um, where you think you have a plan and then the plans change. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell confirmed Wednesday that there will likely be more interest rate hikes this month, but they are expected to be smaller than the aggressive 0.75% increases seen earlier this year.